What is going on everyone? We are here for week five of the Global Master Fix Track Guide series and this week we are at Oran Park. So really excited for this one guys as we sort of said in the from the beginning videos at the start of the season when we were sort of introducing what we we're going to be doing. Um, this one's been circled for a while. This is probably one of my favourite Australian tracks from the past. Uh, it's a shame that it's not actually still a racetrack in real life. It's now a housing suburb. But the fact that we still get to run here on iRacing and the track's been preserved in that way is pretty awesome. So looking forward to getting into this one with you guys. So track's very old school, lots of bumpy um, corners, sort of long radius style of corners too. There's a few really good markers along the way as well. A couple of blind face sort of corners over the crest near the end of the lap as well. So it's got a good mixture of stuff. Uh, you definitely have to focus on the front to balance shifting from side to side as well and like weight transitioning in the car um it's quite good for that as well so it does teach you quite a few good little skills running this car track combo so let's uh let's get into week five at our own park in the mx5 Alright guys, so now we're going to break down the lap. So as you're coming down the front straight, you want to be as close to the wall as possible on the right hand side. As you come into the corner, you pit wall and then you start to turn. You want to be flat through here till you get off the kerb. As soon as you're off the kerb, nice big brake pressure. Back to second gear, you want to be as close to the kerb as possible. Once you get to just past this part here, so once you get to this part, you've got to be nice and straight in front of the paramount sign, and then you want to start to turn the car at the corner, right? But you don't want to hit the apex until you get to this point here. So you'll actually see the kerb comes in and it sort of goes straight, turn and then turn so you want to hit it at the second part of the apex so you want to hit it at this part here and then that way you get a really good drive out of the corner so you're sort of like prioritizing the face of the corner and hitting the out apex rather than the in apex if you turn in too early you're going to have to check up quite a bit in the middle of the corner and you're going to lose quite a bit of time so clip on the exit Car's going to push a little bit off the corner, try and get the wheel as straight as possible, as quick as possible, run it out to the outside kerb, up to third gear, and then you want to start to come back towards the left hand side of the circuit, you want to break just past the start of this kerb here, so it's probably about a car length past the start of the kerb, so about this point, nice big brake pressure, third gear, back to second gear, you want to turn in at the end of the concrete strip on the back of the bitumen. So at this point here, so quite a late turn in. Same again here, guys. You want to clip the apex on the exit. So I clip it when I'm just sort of in line with the, the little building off in the distance there. And then I'm able to pick the throttle up 100%. The car is going to push a little bit on exit, but we're going to be able to use all the circuit as a run off the back of the kerb. Stay in second gear. 
I brake just at these tyre bundles on the left-hand side here. And it's, I say I brake, it is a brake marker, but it's very fast, this corner. And you've got to get the car to turn in early. So I brake, and then by the time I get to the escape road on the inside where the first cone is, I'm already turning at the corner. I want to get the car right down into the gully. And by the time I clip that apex, I want to be on the throttle hard. You need to be carrying a lot of speed out of here because you're going up the hill. So on the throttle, the car's going to track nice and wide. You're going to use all the circuit on the exit. Run it up the hill. Shift to third gear as you get to the top of the bridge. Turn in at the start of the bridge. And you're in third. Use a healthy amount of curb here. The car's going to lift and sort of bounce across the corner, but you want to be as close to that inside as possible. You don't have to use the curb. I find the curb just helps the car to rotate, especially when you're carrying a lot of speed. Come off, try and track and follow the line. Once you get in line with the, the tree, then you're able to start to open the steering wheel ever so slightly. The car's going to run to the edge of the curb. You're going to use all the circuit. And then as you're coming down the hill, right, you'll see the concrete turns to a curb. That's when you start to turn the car at the corner. So super early, turn the car at the corner, right? You want to get two tyres on that concrete patch. So run it across the curb, on the concrete patch, on the throttle hard. Car's got a little bit of understeer mid-corner. You're going to run it over this curb. Then you're going to chase it right out to the edge of the road. Once we get to the curb on the outside here, nice big brake pressure. Still in third gear. Turn in at the end of the kerb. You want to turn in early. Get right up on the back of this kerb. Still in third the whole way through here. Carry all that speed on the exit. The car's going to run right out to the edge of the road. Still in third the whole way up the hill. Now, clip this kerb and then aim for the last tree in that cluster. If you aim for the last tree in the cluster, you will be able to shortcut the whole way across this kerb. The car's going to land beautifully. You're going to be able to run it right to the edge of the road. And as soon as we go down into this gully, you want to be braking. So about this point here, you can use the start of the Freedom Food billboards on the outside if you're really looking for a marker. But you'll know it. As soon as you drop into that last little bit of the gully, that's when you need to be like on the brake pedal aggressively. Third, back to second. I turn in where the white line changes. So you'll see it's a straight line and then it starts to do this like horseshoe hook thing. That's where I turn the car at the corner or the end of the grass, start of the sand. Now, getting it up here is the challenge, right? So you don't want to clip the apex too early. So as you come around the corner, you want to clip that apex as you're just about to be dead in line with the traffic light. If you do that, you'll get a nice, beautiful run out of the corner car's going to run right out to the fence use all that road guys follow it right out to the wall up to third gear let it drift back onto the circuit and there you go guys that is your track guide for the mx5 at Oran park this week i hope this has helped you good luck for your week of racing and we will see you next week for week six